Good day, hi ho kids, and welcome to our today's discussion. For today, our topic is all about naming words. Naming words let us know what things around us are called. And naming words are also called nouns. There are naming words for people, things, objects, animals, and places. Now let's talk about examples of naming words or nouns. First, we have naming words for people. This person is called a teacher. A teacher is the one who teaches students inside the school. Next is called a doctor. A doctor is the one who cures or heals patients inside the hospital. Next, we have here a farmer. A farmer is the one who plants crops like vegetables and fruits. And also, we have here a soldier. A soldier is the one who defends our country. Next, let's have naming words for things. First, we have here a whistle, a book, a hammer, and a broom. Let us now have naming words for animals. First, we have here a tiger. Next is an owl. We also have here a rabbit. And last example is a dog. Let's now talk about naming words for places. We have here a hospital. Next is a school. We also have here a police station. And last, we have a farm. Now let's have a short activity. For this activity, I am going to read and show you definitions of naming words or nouns. Now what you need to do is to try to figure out the name of that naming word. Let's start. Here is the first one. This person is good in fixing broken water pipes in our house. This person uses a wrench. What do you call this person? If your answer is a plumber, then you are correct. Let us now go to our second example. This person bakes delicious pastries like cakes and pies. What do you call this naming word? If your answer is a baker, then you are correct. Next, this is a moving object. Children use this to go to school. This is often yellow in color. What's your guess? If your answer is a school bus, then you got it right. Next, this is a place where people pray. You can see many people here on Sundays. What do you call this place? If your answer is a church, then you are correct. Next, this is a place where students study. The children wear uniforms in this place. If your answer is school, then again, you got it right. Let's now have the points to remember in this topic. First, naming words are also called nouns. And, naming words tell us what something is called. 
That is all for today. Thank you and goodbye, Hi Hill Kids.